Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, I'm finna give y'all the best finishing badges in um NBA 2K23 for point guards, lockdowns, and spot ups, and uh centers and poppers, man. I'm gonna go in depth about how you want to use your badges, man. And um, this is a very important video, even though y'all might not think it is, but I'm telling you, bro, I've been playing since the first 2K, man. And I've been playing 2K at the highest level. <laughs> you know, I've, I've already done it. And every time I play, even with comp stage players or comp players, their badges are always wrong. And when I look at bots, which is, you know, 85% of y'all, and there's nothing wrong with being a bot, bro. You can always evolve from being a bot. <laughs> you know, uh, y'all's badges is always wrong, man. So I'm going to drop more of these videos and um, really help y'all. So make sure y'all watch this full video. Before we get into it, y'all make sure y'all like the video. Helps the vid get pushed to the algorithm a lot. Make sure you subscribe if you want. Turn on them goddamn post notes, man. Liking is free. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Now, Acrobat, man, it's, it's honestly a cool badge, man. I mean, it helps with your spins, your hop step, your euros, your cradles, your reverses, chain shot layup. So it's like, it can help you if this is your style. Not pe many people have this style, but if you want to really throw this in your arsenal and, um, like you can't just dunk all the time and all that, then th this is the badge for you, man. Uh, you could change your shot a lot in the uh, air and it goes in. So if you like, for instance, if you don't have like layup timing on, you could probably abuse this badge a lot easier because you won't even have to time it and you could receive the maximum boost. For um, little guards, maybe have this like maxed. Um, for bigger, bigger ISO builds, you know, maybe, uh, lockdowns if you have the badge I guess and then centers eh, you know but it's something to invest in with main ball now um slithery if you shit at a tier three bro th this ain't about shit uh it's not like the previous years where like you really needed it and it really helped like you get more contacts or better layup animations bro I'm getting contacts on this builds and other builds I've tried because you know I use people's accounts man um just to test out the builds, the real limits of the game. And bro, it's not, it's not like, bro, I'm getting contacts and green layups and all that without slithery. And um, you could, I don't know, paint defense is ass. This could help make it easier, but I mean, just overall, like if you driving, bro, like you, you got it. So like to waste the badge points when you have so little, it's not it. But maybe if it was like a tier one or tier two for you, then may maybe so. But other than that, if it's like a tier three, kind of a, a waste, bro, because you need that limit this. But yeah, for the like the locks and, you know, the centers, it, it depends on the tier. Definitely if it's there for one and two, you definitely want to have this on. But if it's like a tier three, it's, it's a waste. You know, if you are mainly a driver, everyone's going to be driving this this year. So, I mean, if you got it in tier one to tier two, you you know, you could fuck with it type shit. Now, uh, back down Punisher is cool. Like if you're bigger than whoever you're facing or you have more strength, more brolic, all that, you know, you could baby him and then just standing contact dunk cheese, you know, standing uh, contact, you know, just especially if you have this badge, you know. If you're a big inside center, you you can abuse this. Um, a lot of people aren't gonna have the right defensive badges to stop you. E even if they do have enough strength, they probably not gonna have post lockdown on. So I mean, if you are a big man, you could you know definitely use this um, for lockdowns. No. Uh, for poppers, probably not. I mean, it all depends if you got like the stand and dunk cheese. Um, for a big guard, you might get matched up on the lock or. PG, um, they do have a reaching thing, but you you might be able to back them down, bro, if, if you got it. So it could be used for guards too. It all depends on your play style, but it's definitely cool and, 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 and it helps you out. So posterize, I'm finna give y'all some exclusive information. I know a lot of people making a lot of clickbait videos to really, you know, fuck up y'all's mind, but look, posterizer, it definitely works, my boy. Um, It's definitely like, it, it do be working, but let me tell you something. 
you can now get contact dunks without the posterizer badge just based off your rating man i've literally done it you know i'm gonna show y'all videos on it in the future i just gotta find some time to edit it up but um it definitely works bro and you the higher it is you can really like dunk on like everyone and they they can't stop you bro and you don't have to uh do the uh what, what's it called the dunk meter thing in like last year and maybe the year before i think i don't, I don't know about 21 but last year to kind of get contacts a little more you had to use it but now you could just go to the rim and press square bro i don't think a lot of people know that because a lot of comp people i was playing with they're like bro how are you getting so many posters i've never seen this amount of posters you're not even using the stick and i'm like nigga i didn't got posterizer on but uh yeah like it's possible bro i can show y'all the angles all that you know you know just let me know down in the comments man so i mean if you a hoe nigga man you know th this is a great post scoring badge you can stun them by doing stuff but you got to know what you're doing so I, for guards and everyone else who has morals and a spirit <laughs> Y'all old heads don't, don't count. Y'all be in my career or just chilling. You know, this can uh help get you stunned. But you got to know how to activate it. You know, lab it up and stuff. And then you can uh spam your little uh hooks and uh fades or whatever you trying to do, bro. Um, it can, you know, it's 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 a decent it's a decent badge. Y'all let me know y'all's experience with all these uh finishing badges down below too. You know, help help everybody out, man. Now, Bully, bro, this might be the most overrated badge, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. This might be the most overrated badge, bro. First of all, this badge only helps for layups, okay? Don't believe the hype. This shit is overrated as fuck. Use builds with it to let... Okay, let me, let me tell y'all something. Bully is not gonna work on a build that's as big as you. You feel me? Like, it just, it doesn't help. You feel me? It just don't help like that. I mean, like, it could help and all that, but it's more for little guards and all that, which no one's using, and you don't even need this to verse little guards. Um, You could just do something else. So why would you invest in a badge that isn't going to bail you out? when you could do other stuff this is definitely over but i mean i don't know i just wouldn't make a build for bully um maybe it could help y'all on the ones if you like really invest and cater your build to it uh maybe if y'all could somehow get it tier one or tier two like on super big builds i i, I don't know uh i don't know this is overrated bro i'm, I'm so serious bro it is overrated like maybe if it helped with dunks too then you know then it, it could be crazy but for layups who is layup i mean you could make probably like a straight layup dude and just straight strength and you know really do it to niggas like that you know just straight do it like that but you gotta really specialize your build for one badge and you might want to test that before you do something um if any of y'all got this max let me know so i can like use it like i've used it uh when the game first came out and i wasn't you know i used another build i'm like bro like i'm taking a layup in a nigga face a little bot like it's never working so i mean i don't know bro y'all let me know y'all's uh, thoughts about uh bully now drop stepper says it helps you protect the ball when trying to do this cheesy shit um i've actually drop stepped some guards and or just like other builds and it seemed to work even without the badge but uh you could definitely use it and you know let me know definitely for like post scores and all that type of stuff for like guards no no for guards uh no maybe i mean this could be a meta for lockdowns i mean it, it could be because you know you you do get the guard matched up on you for like comp player you could possibly like you know do this but it's a decent badge man you don't you don't have to um over invest main guards no maybe big guards uh centers possibly um yeah it's a it's a eh. i don't know you could kind of do it without it bro i don't know man y'all let me know y'all's thoughts about it so if you're a guard no there's no reason to invest into this lockdown no no reason to invest into this big man yes um you could find success over smaller niggas but it's like everyone's like the same height as you so uh you, you 
probably don't get that uh, extra boost, but overall, like, you know, it, it, it helps you out, man. I've, I've tested Now, Giant Slayer is okay. It, it's never really been a badge to really uh, invest your badge points in, but uh, they combine Teardropper in this. So Teardroppers are very broken, bro. Um, I'll probably do a video on it later if I can find a build. But uh, you can have like a 40-something layup and spam teardroppers and them hoes go in contested, right? So if you really know what you're doing and then say you, sometimes you want to throw uh, your teardropper into like an acrobat, then you get the double boost and it's like, well, I don't, I don't know if you're the teardropper boost too. But teardroppers in here, teardroppers work this year. So it's like, if that's your play style as a guard, that's the only way, you know, it'll be useful. And if you want to throw that into your game, you know, definitely try it out and do it, man. Let me let me know your thoughts. You know, a lot of that teardropper is now combined into giant slayer. All this other shit they saying, it could, it could, maybe, maybe. Now, this badge is, it's, it's, it's decent, man. If you're a bot and you know, especially if you want to combine this with bully, um, it could really help you out um, and just overall it just helps you helps bail you out in your finishes you know it's a decent badge for a PG um, you could max it out but not over something like limitless and that's about it so you know th this will probably be a second badge that you want to max out or maybe a third and posterized or like under um definitely slithery but i don't think you'd be able to even get that at one or two but if you could then it would be over that so it's probably like a fifth badge but you know it all depends on the tiers you know um for lockdowns yeah you you would really want to invest in this badge probably max all dependent on like other stuff and, and like your play style you know it, it applies the same for them too um, but definitely something you want to invest in and then for centers the same thing definitely a badge you want to invest in somewhat um, the modded controllers need to do a test on this hopefully they tell us <laughs> the actual boost percentages you know who knows man now post spin man uh, for little guards no for bigger guards you, you might want to invest in this you got a few extra badges you want to invest in this now if you do got the post control of your cheesy six nine we call the fame these niggas we gonna post score these motherfucking lockdowns and post spin them niggas and abuse them niggas of course if you're post score all that type of stuff it can really help you out decent badge hopefully niggas give us stats on this i don't i don't know if they will wait did, did i do limitless takeoff i don't know Limitless Takeoff is one of the best badges, bro. It helps you take off from farther, do those dunks from farther, man. Uh, gold is the one, okay? When you want to make your build, you can aim for silver or gold. Like, if you're a little guard, you know, you could deal with the silver. Or you could do gold. But bronze or no Limitless Takeoff is not it. Don't judge your build if you don't have at least silver Limitless. Gold Limitless is even better and hall of fame is even better but you do not need gold's the one silver's okay okay gold's the one to really not get blocked and and just help your finishing more overall silver okay you yeah. know yeah i don't know if i went over that now pro touch bro this shit is broken as fuck uh post score is holy grail um death to all post scores we don't fuck with you niggas you're one of those you're a norman you might be a jeffrey we don't know about you your badges need to be checked ira but pro touch um definitely broke for post scores all that if you're a post score you definitely gonna need this badge but for guards okay um it can definitely be op if you have like the meter on and all that and you can really green a lot of stuff you know and it's usually a lower tier badge so you can really invest into it but there's some trick to where you don't see the meter or something i don't know for some reason i'm not sh seeing a layup meter i don't think i can do it without changing a setting and if i can't have my meter just layup timing if I have to have the meter for shooting too, then I'm I'm a, I wouldn't even invest in this, bro. To be honest, bro, 
uh, for some reason, uh, layup timing without it timed, you can do layups without them being timed. They're still very good. They still go in. Uh, so you might not even need to invest in this and you can put your badges elsewhere. Um, definitely test both, bro. But um, me, for instance, if, if I can't use the layup meter without my shooting meter and it don't mess up my dribbles then i wouldn't even i wouldn't even fuck with this to be honest but you know there's definitely something that could help you out i usually go for dunks they're faster all that different type of stuff but yeah you know y'all y'all let me know what's up. now fast twitch man it's it's definitely a good badge it does it does help you out bro i really wish it wasn't a badge but man because i don't be having enough points for it but it helps you out big man uh lockdown and a guard uh guard you won't probably have enough um but if you do i mean go for it yeah you also gotta have like certain stats to use this shit but definitely as a big you know if you have enough you definitely want to invest in it i think bigs will mostly you know lock if you can you definitely want to invest in it it'll help you out hopefully the money controllers come out with some stats so we can figure out the exact best one because this ain't my expertise the you know the fast twitch stuff so it would be nice to say see what they think about it now aerial wizard um i i hear it works bro but it has to be a play style okay if you're point guard of course you're not going to use it lockdown probably not because you're not going to invest in it but if you do have the badges and it is your style this is definitely the one now if you play record pro-am these these type of badges would help a lot more um but it has to be a style and especially like it says it helps with putbacks off of offensive rebounds okay you know it, it can help you out big man you might want to really invest in this man this it's gonna help you out but people now they're just passing it even in the meta so it, this is definitely a situational badge um but i hear it works bro y'all let me know y'all's uh thoughts about it now rise up bro um people do make their builds to get certain tiers of rise up um it does work man i've heard it really does work a lot you know i've used it a little myself um if you're a little guard of course no if you're a big iso guard this is something you want to get on bronze or silver or you know some big iso guards are even going as high as hall of fame uh definitely decent man definitely something you can abuse and cheese when you really learn how to do stuff um, you can make people jump and then just bow, you know, um, very broken type shit. Um, lockdowns, I don't even think you'll have, a, lockdowns wouldn't even be able to, to get this. Uh, now for big man, you know, it's, it's definitely something you want to invest, um, badge points in. Um, uh, I'm not specific the tier and look. If y'all know anything about these badges or just share your, your thoughts or, you know, you know, just all we can come together and, and learn the game together, bro. I'm not saying I know every little thing, but I do know, you know, a lot, uh, you know, hopefully this has helped y'all out a little bit. Be wasting y'all badges, bro. Anywho, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. Y'all become a member to the YouTube channel. If you want to get on the friends list, play games with me, COD 2K. Or if you just want to 1v1 me, man, click one of these two videos, watch them all, and yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again, yeah, here, here we go again, people talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me, now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.